Do what the fuck we gotta do, man. Whoa. By any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where your ass was at when I had needed you the most? Down in all these drugs, baby, come get you a dose. Yeah, you playing on my heart, but I ain't been letting her in. They'll tell your ass they love you when it all be 10. Yeah. Well, without my pops, yeah, my uncle was my only father figure. Head first dive in the streets, you gotta move with caution. Yeah. I can go for love, this shit be fake. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm one of the hardest to be shit, these niggas ain't fuck with me. And if my brother say fuck you, then it's fuck you. Ain't no both sides. Take it up and stay up out the way. That's why I'm for my all up in this shit. I hope y'all hear me. I could've been gave up, but got so many who got faith in me. Like, they ask me who I do it for. I reply my family. Ballin' out the gym, deserve a trophy like a jewelry. Praying up to God for forgiveness for this life of sin. Can't believe that pussy killed my sister. I be missing Ken. What's cracking? Rigging the realest real boy radio, Fort Myers, Florida. We back again. And we dropping bottles over here already. We getting turned. We getting turned. I got two very special guests in the building with me today. By any means, and one love, Juvie. How y'all doing, boys? Good. How are you, bro? Good, good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Appreciate for sure. It. I'm hyped you guys are here, man. I had my bag in the wall. Had to stand on my tent. I could fumble the ball. Uh, know that it's dead, so I'm just waiting on my call. Yeah. Oh. Man, how's everything going, man? Y'all fair the storm, all right? Yes. Well, Besides the whip. I want to yeah, hit for the storm. I stay out of town. Uh, oh, man. you slid? No, I stay out of town. Oh, you stay out of town. Where do you Where do you live? I stay in Georgia. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We're in Georgia. Savannah. Oh, nice, man. That's what's up. So you come back and forth from Florida a lot? Shoot, this is really my first time, bro. Hit me up for the opportunity. Oh, that's fire, bro. So you're here just for the interview? Well, interview and... And the work? The work, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire, bro. Good shit, man. So tell me a little bit about your childhood by any means. I mean, I, you know, I don't know where you grew up or anything, but tell me a little bit about that and how you got into producing and then how you linked up with One Love Juby. Yeah, um, so I'm from originally from Springville, New York, which is like a little village, 4,000 people. Shout out New York, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I moved down here when I was like 12. Uh, I still wasn't in music yet. I did like drums, like mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, um, yeah. I actually got into the EDM scene first. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I started going to like raves, and then eventually I was like, like I want to start DJing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, no, nah, I want to. Oh, wait, can we swear? Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, right. So I was like, yeah, damn. We can swear. All right, bet. So I was like, damn, I don't want to. I don't <laughs> no, want to just good. DJ. I want to make what it is, and then mm-hmm. I eventually I just turn into rap, and then it, the rest is history. For mm-hmm. me, honestly, what, what was it about rap music that made you kind of make that shift? Uh, it was the vocals, I think. Yeah, because like, EDM was no like vocals. So I was right. like, nah, I want I want to hear somebody on um, what I make. And right, that's, right. That's what was Did it just kind of get redundant after a while? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was yeah. just like, all right, these are just sounds kind of. Put together, so right, right. Um, someone actually be on there. Nice. Yeah. So then you found producing, and then like, how long have you been doing that? Like, uh, so this is my fifth year, but I would say like third year, like real serious. Okay. Like, okay. The first two years were kind of like oh, shit water. The first kind of like experimental kinda, a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kinda just like getting used to the program, like not too serious. Mm-hmm. And then I had like some family stuff happen, so I was like, damn, like I don't know if I wanted to do a little mental setback. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh-huh. then I was like, no, but not then we. Well, I'm glad you persevered and continued to do it. That's yeah, good, man. Yeah, that was a lot. Uh-huh. Sometimes setbacks can get in the way of doing shit, but if you can push through those things, man, it's it that's, always pays that's. off in the end. What about you, Juvie? Tell me a little bit about your, your your childhood, where you grew up, and how did you find rap music, man? Well, shit, let me see. I'm, I'm originally from Chicago. Okay. But, goddamn, I moved, to, I moved to um Georgia, like, 2009. I moved from Georgia. Well, shit, let me see. I'm just, we went from Chicago, Flint, Michigan. Oh, wow. To Georgia. Damn. You're all so, over. Wow. I found music. I could sing. Mm-hmm. I started out singing. I started singing like fifth grade. Mm-hmm. I met my peoples in Atlanta. Once we moved to like the south side of Atlanta, that's when I just jumped off the porch with everything. So yeah. Like, started taking it more serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I got a partner named Rico. He was really rapping. Mm-hmm. He was like, bro, you should just try rapping. Try rapping. So yeah. once he was like, he started putting fire up on him, like, mm-hmm. do that. I started doing it. 2016, 2017, I dropped my first song on SoundCloud. Oh, nice, nice. So ever since then, I had a few setbacks, but mm-hmm. let me see, last year, last year was my major setback. Oh I yeah, just started back doing music like April of this year. Well, that's good, man. 
Yeah, yeah. Check my tape October. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to go through some shit, bro. I feel oh, yeah. like th th as an artist, I feel like it kind of not only gives you like stuff to talk about, but it kind of like mm -hmm. molds you as a person, helps your character, helps you kind of like deal with the difficult sides of like making music and content. Because you know how music is the best music. You know what I'm saying? Say that. Yeah, that's that's what's up. So how did you guys meet? Did you was it just on some like internet stuff? Like he fucked with your beats and you guys kind of reached yeah, out and yeah. So actually, I sent it was funny. I sent beats to one of his label's producers on accident. I meant to just send oh, it to the artist. Yeah, yeah. But he's like, he opened them. He's like, nah, these are hard. And so like that's he's tight. like, nah, come through to Atlanta. And so I met up with the producer, and then the second time I went to Atlanta, he was there with them at the studio, and oh, then that's how I met him. Kind of like a kind of like a beautiful accident in a weird yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. And there's just like a lot. Of, that's like, fake, like, bro. Been, I already told him there's been a lot of like little signs. I was like, oh yeah, it's, like we gotta, we gotta yeah. do some. And the crazy thing about that, like how he, he was like crazy signs. Mm -hmm. My little sister got killed on ten ten twenty one. Oh wow! I, so I dropped the song for her and her for a tribute. Yeah, for her. yeah, like, yeah. I dropped it April. That's when I started back doing music. I dropped it April. Mm -hmm. I met him in August. And he went to telling me like ten ten, bro. That don't mean something. Damn. Like, him and his girl got it tatted on them. So oh like, wow, yeah, bro, that's yeah, crazy. It's just like a little weird. Some stuff, weird like, like yeah, yeah, crazy then, numbers, like, October, synchronicities, or yeah. like both of our birthdays are in October, and uh, her her my girlfriend's father uh, he committed suicide. Damn. And so ten ten means a lot to her for it because like angel wow. numbers. I yeah, know if you're familiar I, with. Uh, yeah, four forty four is mine. I uh, see you got eight 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 in your yeah, bio. Eight, 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 yeah, that's mine. Yeah, yeah that's uh, yours. Yes, sir. Yeah, you see, do you see it everywhere? Yeah, all the time. Me too, bro. And it's not like. With 444, it's kind of weird because, like, you, you see it on the clock twice a day no matter what. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you see it on, like, license plates mm -hmm. and, like, All receipts and, like, everywhere. just weird, like, things that, like, you know, that's too much of a coincidence. I'm a huge, I'm a huge believer in, like, like speaking things into existence. Manifestation. Yeah, we are all, too, bro. We're very selective of our words. We don't speak ill on ourselves. We always say we will. Um, do you when know who Charlie Rocket is? That sounds familiar, but I'm not um, too familiar okay, with so him. He's just like a like a speaker. Okay. But, uh, he always says like spelling. Like they call it spelling for a reason because like you're casting spells. We talk about this all the fucking you're time. Literally That's so funny. Casting spells, you speak. So you always gotta like watch what you're saying. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty deep in that. It's like quantum physics. It gets pretty deep. It it, it gets really. It, it's. You really no telling how deep you can really get with that, but he's on me about that all the time. Really? Like, yeah, he right. tells me not to say understand, say overstand, like little tiny yeah, things yeah, like that, the, little things like that. Yeah, because yeah. you know, if you, it makes sense, like if you want to keep people stupid and oppressed, like give them a language where they're doing it themselves. I'm telling it's you, it's crazy. Man. You know, it, well, that's, it, how, that's how that deep shit it gets it. deep, bro. Yeah, that that's shit how gets, deep it gets. That shit gets really deep. But yeah. uh, so now that you say that, because. Crazy! I say I understand a lot. Mm, mm, me too. But now it's not overstand over, over everything. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, it's crazy, it. right? Like, yeah, you don't think about like, things like that. But like, anyways, like, Man, just, like funny. speaking of words, like by any means, like right, I know that's your name, mm -hmm. but do you think that that's more of a philosophy you live by? Because I always but, see you in front of the computer on your IG, and I'm like, this man fucking works, bro, and I respect that. Time. So do you think is by time. any means more than a name? It's really like kind of like a philosophy on how you live, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I like that, bro. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's, I'll be talking by any means. Mm -hmm. by it's, it's, any good, means. it's just like, that's something like that, that. I just feel like that catches with everybody, you know? It's the hardest name ever. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, you can't deny that. Like, yeah. And then, like, my tag, it says by any means in the beginning. So, like, yeah. I notice when people start rapping on it, like, eventually they start saying it in the beginning yeah, of the song. Right. Like, mm -hmm. by any means, yeah, by, all the time. Yeah, when, when Enoch first told me about you, shout out Enoch, he'll be here in a little bit. He uh, he was like, yeah, I got my, you know, my producer by any means. I'm like, damn, that's a hard ass name, yeah, bro. That. I, yeah. I was, I was like, damn. <laughs> that's just hard I as fuck. I appreciate you guys, man. Yeah, yeah. Enoch. Yeah, no, he's good people, man. He's good Shout people. Shout out to Enoch. Yeah, he's me yeah, out. yeah, for sure, for sure. He's actually became a pretty good friend of mine since I had really? him on the show. Nice, yeah, nice. which is a beautiful he's thing. He's good people. I, he is. It's funny because... And when I, I told you I was in the EDM scene, yeah. I would rave. I would go to raves with him all oh, the time. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, but we weren't really cool. like friends, but mm -hmm. like we just knew of each other. We were always in the same house. And Mutual stuff. friendship mm -hmm. type thing. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah. So when did you when did you kind of adopt that lifestyle? Like, was it kind of in the midst of like your your producing career, or like was it something you always lived by? Like, you know, tell me a little bit about well, by, the, just by any means, like the uh, way you, the way you yeah, live your life. Like yeah, in the music, like because as like I said, the first couple of years I wasn't as serious, but then I was like, mm -hmm. like I don't want to. What I do right now, I don't want to do for the rest of my life. So, like, right, being, like, you see, you said I'm in front of the computer all the time. Like, mm -hmm. just, yeah, like you said, by any means, mm -hmm. anything, whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah. Because, um, yeah. Because that's really what you got to be in this game, bro. Like, the game is moving and so that, fast. Like, you really have to be on top of your shit. And, like, too. not, yeah, not yeah, give yourself any It's all about who works the hard, like, most consistent works the hardest. Mm -hmm. There's so many good producers out there. Shout out RC. Like, there's so many Shout good out RC producers. over so there in the like, back. He gets the horn. Big dog. So, it's just. You always got to stay consistent, mm -hmm. and that's why I've been going to Atlanta. Like, networking, I notice, is the most
Especially that's so true. As the hardest beat in the world. So yeah, that's so true. That's something I've learned too with podcasting and just networking in general. It's like it just it opens it gives you keys to doors. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That money can't really buy. I mean, it can, but you know, I'd rather have a genuine connection with somebody Facts. that yeah, has yeah. my supports me for real than mm-hmm, just mm-hmm. a few extra dollars. I mean, we can always make a few yeah, extra dollars. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. So you guys got some projects coming out. I saw you sent me something on IG of uh, Juvie. I think it was like a little snippet. Tell me a little bit about that project, bro. Yes. Go ahead. I I forgot the name of it, but you were like freestyling out front or something, or you were uh, rapping over a beat. I don't remember. It's on my IG somewhere. That's when you were in the car. It was 10, 20, it was 10, 10, 21. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little. You were just singing it live. That was 10, 10, 21, but Mm -hmm. I dropped that uh, on my tape. I dropped my tape. On the one year of my sister Dove, 1010. Oh, nice, 22. nice. Appropriate, so, very appropriate. Yeah, so I guess the horns, I guess the horns for I sure. It. It's, it's out on all platforms. Y'all go get that. Better late than never. Facts. So, Hard. That's what's yeah. up. So, like, psh, like, ever since I done dropped my music, like, and been dropping, mm-hmm. everything been co- going up consistently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, this really, like, my first interview. Yeah, so like, this is tight. This is yeah, historic so, for you, bro. This yeah, is good. So it's like, it's going up. It's a level up, man. Definitely a level up. So, it's like, shoot. Good Maybe you, steps man. to take major steps. You mm-hmm. Know, so. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, how many projects so, do you guys have together? Like, since you guys been... Uh, this is our first one? This is the first one. Yeah, oh, that's fire, bro. Like, oh, that's fucking man, tight. We, are, we already got, like, five songs. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, bro. Yeah. Everything is Hopefully, it's like, on the way. five more. Like, yeah. Before you leave. That's what's I'm up. back down here, too. So. Yeah, that's lit. So, what's the Atlanta scene like, bro? Like, I mean, you go you go back and forth there a lot. Like, what's that? I mean, that's a big market. Times, yeah. But it's, I love Atlanta. Yeah. I love Atlanta. I feel like for, that's kind of like the mecca. what I'm trying to do. It's just, it's just, you know, you never know who you're going to run into out there. It's just so much work out there, bro. Everywhere. You know? Everywhere. It's oversaturated, kind of, but it's still, like, you don't never know who you're going to run into. I feel like you can still stand out, though, if you have the right sound and you're Facts. committed. Oh, you yeah, know? Definitely. You know what I mean? Facts. I feel like commitment and consistency is, is really 90% of the game. Yes. You know? Always. And networking. Mm-hmm. I've been, that's what I've been huge on, like, the past years, is mm-hmm. networking. Like, talking to anybody on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, you. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. I met, you know, I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to hit them up. I just hit anybody up that I can send beats to, anything like that. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised how many people will respond back if you just go out there and shoot some messages yeah. out there, bro. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot of people are, are looking for the same type of people that you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. So, you know. Just being genuine, too. And just exactly, Not, yeah. like, trying to look, like, too hard. Not, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel that. So I saw one of your posts, you said that you sacrificed everything for this life. What do you think is like the biggest sacrifice a producer makes in 2022 in order to make it in this industry? Family. Family. Friends, family and friends. Life. Yeah. Mad girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's a lot of time away from home, for sure. Yeah, everything. Yeah. You know? Or work out to people. Mm-hmm. Knowing people going, oh, yeah, if you just send out a beat and somebody blow up off your phone, knowing they're going send you back what they supposed to send you, you feel me mm-hmm. like people will run off like i don't have some instant oh i bet until, like it's, it's a grimy, right. it's a grimy business, yeah, it man. Grimy as hell. It really it is. is. I'm starting to kind of realize that too. Like the deeper I get into it, and the higher I climb the ladder, I'm starting to realize it's just levels to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's grimy on every level yeah. in some, oh, yeah, in some way. Definitely. It's kind of off topic, but they just there's like a big producer his name was Palace, and they just found out that he was stealing people's loops for X Damn, amount of time, bro. And just like running off with him, even though he's like already a fire ass loop maker. Yeah, he's still like stealing some other person's shit. Damn, he got kind of like a dishonest come up in yeah, a weird yeah. way. Oh, yeah, kind of. So now, he, like his everything's tarnished with him, but still, like even the bigger people are doing that shit. So mm-hmm. it's like your favorite fighter finding out he uses steroids. Yeah, you're like exactly. oh, you're still it's a like, badass, but it's like fuck, you cheated. You know? Yeah, yeah it kind of just. Takes away from everything. It does, bro. It's just, it, I don't know, like, I, every, you want to see somebody playing the game fair, bro. You know oh, what I mean? But I feel like sometimes in this just, game. There's so much room for, like, everyone to win. There it's, is, it's, man. It's, it's endless amounts of money being made. Real there's shit. So much room. So much room. Real shit. And the industry's only getting bigger, and they're only going to expand, and it's just, you know. Yeah, exactly. You can so find the right lane in the right rap, pocket. I'm pretty sure rap took over rock and roll for, like, the most popular genre. It, it 100% oh, yeah. is. 100%. Sure. I mean, it's becoming more mainstream Dang. all the time, yeah, too, people, bro. Uh, hey, people rather... Do music than work a job for real. Facts. Yeah. Like, like I be yeah. telling people like, bro, shh, bro, you better get you a job, boy. Just in case that don't fall back, mm-hmm. they ain't gonna tell you that. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of. Uh, man, people not gonna tell you go get a job. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Go get your win, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I don't. You can do both. You can do both. I'm doing it right now. It's both. hard, but you can exactly. do both. You can, it you is do very both. hard. But all all the good both. things in life that are worth it are fucking hard. Yeah, you know. Always. Yeah. always I respect always. the guy that can work a nine to five and still go home and try to build what? his empire. Guess that's what? that's respect. You work that same nine to five. Guess what? You invest into yourself. That's mm-hmm. what you do. That's all yeah. I do is put the money right back in. That's what I do too, man. Literally, my nine to five is just to fuel the empire building, bro.
What's up, guys? Real Boy checking in. This episode of Real Boy Radio is brought to you by G Production Studio in Cape Coral, Florida. If you're a local artist in the 239 area that's serious about perfecting your craft, G Production Studios offers top-of-the-line recording, mixing, and mastering packages along with videography and photography using the highest quality equipment you can find in the industry with the sole purpose of bringing you the best quality audio and visuals to your projects. Not to mention, they also record bands as well. Super dope. I've personally recorded at G Productions a few times, and all of my experiences there have been excellent. It's a beautiful establishment, extremely professional, and they definitely know what they're doing. So to all you local artists, make sure you guys tap in with G Productions to schedule any bookings. You can DM G Productions LLC on Instagram, or you can email G Productions LLC at gmail.com. That's G Productions LLC at gmail.com. So what are you waiting for? Book your session now and take your musical aspirations to the next level. Now let's get back to the show. So, I mean, I, from, from what I, I've looked at a lot of your stuff and it's, you just have so you have so much music, you have such a huge catalog, like I'm and you, you have kind of artists all over the place, like Atlanta, you know, Florida, where's like a really underrated region that's popping right now that a lot of people don't know about. Mm. It's hard because I feel like everything's popping nowadays. Mm hmm. I was going to say Memphis, but Memphis has been on that. And then Alabama. Yeah. Alabama's starting to come up now. Alabama's an interesting one. Yeah, Alabama's yeah. Starting to come up. You got, like, La Soldier from Alabama. Yeah. Uh, jo I think there's a guy named JoJo. He's hard. Mm -hmm. um, people like that. Um, Big Yavo. I don't know if you know that. I've, I've heard that name before. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure he's from Alabama. So we got people coming up from Alabama. Damn, all right. Some Bama rappers coming but through. I, That's I feel like up. Alabama and Atlanta. I mean, uh, people are going to say no, but I feel like all those people got, like, the same sound. So Yeah. I feel like they kind of all kind of grow off each other's sound a little bit. Especially you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah Atlanta's like, so big, so. yeah, that's such an influential sound, bro. Like, you can yeah. kind of tell when, like, a rapper comes out of Atlanta. They got a little bit of the same sound, but it's still fire. You know yeah, what I mean? It's always, just kind of like always. a signature. Always. You know what I'm saying? So who are some of your guys' influences? Juby, what about you, bro? Who's your, who's some of, like, your rap influence? Who got you into rap, man? Like, who are some of the people that, like, inspire you, you know? Uh, oh, I, I can't, um, I don't know, if, like, inspired me. Mm -hmm. Or, like, like who'd you listen to growing up a lot, like, you know? Growing up, shoot. Like I say, I was really, like, I was, Shoot, I, my mama mm -hmm. had me listen to a lot of R&B music. Okay, yeah, yeah. She was yeah. one of them parents. Yeah, like, yeah. Once she found out, oh, yeah, you can sing. Every family event, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can sing, yeah, you can oh, sing yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go sing so for everybody? I listen to a lot of old school music. Like, okay, real, that's what's like, up. Yeah. If I tell you, like, I, we could go take it back yeah. way, way back, like. That's fire. Temptations yeah, you, type shit. Yeah, you oh, nice. Sam you got yeah, you love the classics. All the time, I just sent him a James yeah, Brown. Like 70, that try me like Brian, bro, bro. James, did, you see, did you ever see the James Brown movie? Yeah. Oh, that shit was hard, bro. That shit was hard. I had so much respect for him after that. I was like, oh, yeah. yo, that's crazy, bro. But, shoot, like, let me see. Rap-wise, mm -hmm. growing up, I was listening to, like, Lil Wayne. Yeah. T.I. Wayne a big one. Mm-hmm. Wayne's the GOAT. Real shit. Uncle Nem had me listen to Three Six Mafia. Oh yeah, definitely Three yeah, Six. Yeah. Yep. Who else? Um, let me see. Man, we listen to I a lot of same shit. Yeah. People too, like mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a dude named Trey G out of Atlanta. He be singing and jumping. Like, okay, okay. Shit, shit, I was young. I was young listening to that man. Mm -hmm. was like shit, he from Atlanta. Yeah. I was around the way, so shit, I was fucking with his craft and shit. So mm -hmm. it was like. Just yeah. naturally gravitated towards yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like that little scene, like the whole rich kid scene, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was that was my wave back then. So it was like that's lit. Once I got older, I kind of like perfected my craft. On, mm -hmm. I like stayed on myself. I got my cousin; he went into the music. I got on him mm -hmm. the same way my boy Rico did. Mm -hmm. That shit just like shit. Now, do you do you write music every day? Do you go to the studio every day? Like, what's your creative process like? Oh shit, I write every day. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. I can write like. And with him, mm -hmm. shit, he got me opening up to freestyling. Like, I just yeah. did two songs. I was like, bro, just pick a beat. Just run the beat. Just gonna, yeah. Just gonna go from there. Kind of like punching in. I, don't know if you I know. feel like that's yeah, kind yeah, of the yeah. rawest way to do it, you know, because mm -hmm. you're, like, preserving the emotion. You know, yeah. you're not overthinking it because I feel like when you overthink it and you sit on it too long, it kind of becomes, yeah. you start to you hate it. You don't know what to do because yeah. I get stuck a lot, so I'll fuck around and be like, man, you know what? Fuck it. Mm -hmm. I'll come back to it, smoke me a blunt. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. Now I know yeah. what to say. So it, it done been times I don't have... I don't had to. I don't took two different songs and just made it one. Yeah, sometimes yeah, so this is like, what it is. Yeah, you can't yeah. finish this one. You can't finish this one. So it's like, ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna combine yeah, them together, together. Type I'm shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to make another song for this beat. <laughs> but it'd be worth it though, cause yeah, like, I don't made a couple of hits like that. Like, That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. What about you? Uh, what's your producer? Who do you? Who? Some of your producers that you kind of like? You know? 
Oh, uh, you already know it's got to be Metro number one. Okay, Metro Boomin. Yeah, when he, he coming up with him, that was probably my biggest influence. Mm -hmm. That was right when I started producing. I was like, oh, oh, oh this is hard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, the Twenty One Savage song dropped. I forgot the name of it. Mm -hmm. oh, it was Savage is hard, bro. It was the future in Twenty One Savage. It's so popular. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, when that dropped, that's that was like one of the main songs. Like, yeah, I want people to like rap. Yeah, yeah, this. yeah. But um. Metro, obviously Southside. Mm -hmm. Southside. Yeah, oh yeah, Southside. Yep. So mm -hmm. hard, bro. He's, mm -hmm. um, DB, DB's hard. Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he just started like his own waves called Tron Music. Oh wow, hard. okay. It's hard. I think I've heard of that before. Yeah, RC be doing this shit. It's yeah, hard. what kind of what, like what does that sound like? Um, like is there like a difference? What does it sound like? I don't know. Oh, the boys it just, just sounds like in. futuristic, like yeah, like something like you once you start playing, you're like I don't know, if people rap on it, but like people are starting to try now. It's it's crazy. Yeah, it's gonna definitely be coming up. I'm gonna have mm -hmm. to I'm gonna have to search some of those beats yeah, when, when, after this shit, it. man. Yeah, you can look at RC's page. You got that's all he does. So yeah, that's kind of why I started leaking with him too. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, bro. So what do you guys have like long term goals with music? Like, are you gonna continue to produce? Do you ever like Always. have any aspirations I'll never to? Stop. Yeah, you have any no aspirations to like you know expand into different avenues of creation? Yeah, eventually I want to be like. I was. I just started thinking. Actually, it's cool. I just. I actually just started thinking about this a couple months ago. Like okay. What else I would want to do besides that. Yeah. I feel like I can like manage, like have like a yeah. company, like manage artists. And yeah. Like like a label. Like have a label. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, I figured. I kind of. Yeah. That's where you were gonna kind of steer towards. Well, you know. It's crazy. You know what? It's it's crazy. He said that because I was gonna ask him to be my manager. The crazy part about it, I was like, bro, I don't really. I'm the anti, so I don't really like. You don't like people that much. Nah. I don't blame so you, bro. They like, suck. I go to the party. And let, like if I'm performing, like shit, oh yeah, I, you'll turn it on. Yeah, so it's but, different. But yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know, cause it'd be like I don't been to too many situations at parties. They'd be like, nah, I ain't bumping with parties, bro. Mm -hmm. But it'd be like, nah, no now parties. with the music, yeah. you got to, cause if you ain't networking, especially as an artist, how you gonna, how you gonna get? Mm -hmm. Especially as an yeah, artist. You, like, there is a social aspect to being an artist now. You kind of oh, yeah, show yeah, face yeah, certain places. I just came off my first tour with the label. Mm -hmm. it was like once I started doing the shows, mm -hmm. people started following me and shit. I started seeing that my page started going up a little bit more. I was like, you know what, shit, you gotta mm -hmm. do that. I bet. So no I see what they mean. You got to network. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that networking, that shit. No that's just important. Two people, three yeah. people in the audience. That's just another person show, that's gonna. Know. I'm knowing this shit gonna persevere, bro. Like mm -hmm. we went to shows that had nobody there. Like yeah, only the artists, going. and we still perform. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Because gotcha. it's just. It's an opportunity. Absolutely. And you're going to look back on that and you're going to be like, man, remember we only had three people at our show? Now look now look at all these people. Like, that's yeah. that's that's always the, the best is the come up story, bro. Oh, I yeah. love I love a good come up story. You know? So you said you were you said you were signed to a label? Yeah. It's who who, is, who are you signed to? SRP, Simpson Road Production. Oh, OK. How'd yeah, you how'd you link up with how'd you link up with them? My brother, actually. Pac-Man. Oh, Pac no shit. Yeah. He was he got signed to him first. So he was like, yeah. I came to Atlanta last year because mm -hmm. I actually I I stayed out there. Mm -hmm. So it was like I came back, visiting them, mm -hmm. went to the studio, I recorded a song. He was like, "Oh yeah, boy, you hard, right?" He was mm -hmm. like, "Oh yeah, it ain't on paperwork yet, but you feel me? It's like once it's on, I'm like, I'm a sign, but I you feel me? It just be like, I'm yeah, just yeah. first. Mm -hmm. We got that, so they they still showing love. So they like, yeah, we still want you. So yeah." They giving me the opportunity. That's what's up, and they're based out of Atlanta. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, that's the West cool, side. Bro. Oh, okay, that's what's up, that's man. That's the same people I link up with when I go. Oh, okay, to so you know them. You know so them people too. That's how we Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's what's up, bro. Would, would you got anything uh, current you're working on right now that you're hyped about? What's like your most current hyped project that you got in the in the chamber right now? Just the shit with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. lie. That's lit, bro. He got me doing something. Like he got me on beats. That's like getting me out my element. That's good though. That's good. Yeah, yeah. We made a hit before we came. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, that yeah fire. that's fire. That's yeah. a bop. That's what's that's up, bro. I can't wait for you. Yeah. Did it take you a while to kind of find your sound, or did you kind of just pick it up organically a little bit, you know? That's when I, when I, took, I took a year off. When I took that year off, I worked on my craft. So mm -hmm. it was like, I worked on my craft, like, and I started listening to my old music. I was like, shoot, I'm getting better and better. Mm -hmm. like, when I dropped my tape, everybody like, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. so this, they yeah. can see the improvement, hear the improvement. Like, yeah, bro. He like, yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm knowing when that 10, 10, 21, I'm telling y'all. Yeah. Y'all hit this now. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Video for it. Yeah. Y'all going to see. That's, um, gonna, that's gonna be the one. Nah, nah, I told, I already told him that's the one. It, it sounds like, it just sounds professional. That's, it's just going to be the one for real. That's what's up. No, I, I, look, I listened to the snippet that you sent me. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what's up. So you're going to shoot a video for it? Do you have the concept? You got a concept for it already? Yeah. How I'm gonna do it? It's like 
I'm gonna have a graveyard scene and everything. Right, right, right. Uh, it, well, shoot, my, I'm gonna go to my sister's grave site. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be like I'm talking to her. Oh, I'm damn, gonna that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, thing. yeah. Have uh, mama, some couple of people. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna be like all black. I want all black attire. Yeah, yeah. And it's this girl that I know. She looked just like my sister. I'm gonna have her be in the video. Oh, that's tough. It's gonna be like an angel. So it's like, mm -hmm. the way, I got somebody who green screen editing. And all okay, nice. Stuff. Yeah. So I have her coming from the sky and everything. So that's I'm gonna have it set up nice, though. Sure. Dude, that's fire, bro. That's dope. Yeah. So what were you doing? So, like, how long, was there any other thing that you did besides music when you were younger? Like, did you have any other, like, first loves besides music? Like, did you have, like, were you in sports or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Either one of y'all. Oh, sure. Yeah, I played football and box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you boxed? A little bit. A little nice, bit. bro. That's what's up. Me too. That's what's oh, yeah. up. Fellow Skate savage over here. Skateboarding. <laughs> skateboarding? Yeah, skateboarding. Bro, I was, in, I was in love with skateboarding when yeah, I was a kid, too. bro. <laughs> God damn it, man. Like, the 90s skateboarding, early 2000s was the fucking shit. Yeah, that was, my, that was where I started. Yeah. And I shit. tried it. Fell off at all. Yeah. I tried to come. I thought I was. No, skateboarding's I, hard, I, bro. I'm not even gonna catch. Bro, I kept so rolling my ankles. Okay. That's what saying, got me. To, that's I what got me to said, skate. Was the fucking game. I always say it's one of the hardest sports. Cause not many people tried it, so they were really, like, nah. It yeah. Ain't that hard. I just kept I'm rolling my down. ankles, bro. I'm like, this is dumb. You got people like <laughs> jumping down forty stairs. It's, just like, it's fucking what? nuts, bro. Like I follow some of those dudes on Instagram, and like they're just so clean with it. It's like it, so yeah. satisfying. I sit here and watch it. I don't know if you know that. Oh, of course. I know. I love. I love Nigel. Crazy. I follow this other dude, Jake Lahardy. Jake Lahardy. Yeah. He's like. Some white boy, he's fucking nice with it, bro. Yeah, I rarely crazy. see him bail. You really dude. gotta have a crazy ass head to be on that. You really do, man. And some of those dudes maybe jumping like fucking thirty stairs, yeah, which is crazy. Doing like three spins with the boy, man. It's just crazy. Yeah, that it's is fucking crazy. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, bro. So what's your what's your guys's favorite like aspect of what you do? Like for you producing, like what would be like what's your favorite element of it? Like is it just the cook? Is it like the reaction of people when they hear it? Like what's uh, what's, your, what's the what's the gets you the most excited? Just recently, because I've been making like actual full songs that like just hearing like a full, full song made because like usually yeah. obviously I'm the one that made the beat so like yeah. starting it from just the beat and then you got the artist vocals and then just like mixing it all together mm -hmm. so just like the end pro end process has mm -hmm. kind of like been the best thing for me lately but yeah before like I started doing all the mixing and vocals mm -hmm. it definitely just cooking up. Yeah. So beat. that final product when it comes out onto the showroom is kind of like the best yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it's like dope. all the work you put in. Yeah. Facts. Sure. What about you? What about you, Juvie? What's your favorite part about rapping? I ain't gonna lie, I'm ad lib king, man. Yeah, ad -lib. the ad libs are the most fun to do. <laughs> they are. Yeah, by me being able to sing, so it's like I can switch it up. Mm -hmm. So I do two sets of ad libs. I have like I might just be, mm -hmm. I mean, talking like. Yeah, copying what I said in the verse, mm -hmm. and I have my harmonizing, man. It's Fire. Yeah. It just be, Fire. once you hit a final product, you be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. I had a motherfucker, like, who that is saying? That's me. That's she me, like, yeah. That's me, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, so, like, I <laughs> Every feel like that's my disadvantage, bro. Like, because mm -hmm. you be like, you don't hear a lot of rappers that can actually sing. But once Rod mm -hmm. Wade came mm -hmm. out with that. Yeah, Rod Wade was, like, oh, yeah. Man, he done, he done took off. Yeah. yeah, if you can rap and sing at the same time, you're, like, so, superhuman, bro. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. That's that's, sure. that's multi. You can do so much with that. You can sing your own hook. You can rap your own verses. Like, pff, fucking and possibilities are endless, really. That I, I, that I noticed lately, I don't got no hooks. I don't got a lot of yeah. hooks. I'll go straight in. Like, yeah. I don't know why I've been doing that lately, but. Yeah, we about to do. Yeah, we about, we about to finna switch it up though. Mm -hmm. And he helped me. Like he, mm -hmm. like, when he was like, "Nah, bro, don't drag it. Just say it straight." Like he, mm -hmm. when I'm doing too much. He let me know. Like, yeah, man, that's what a lot of artists they don't get told that. They, mm -hmm. You feel me? They be. I feel like people be scared to tell artists like, "No, nah, bro, don't do that." Like, right? Yeah. I, I want you to correct me. Show me when I'm wrong. So mm -hmm. yeah, don't yes man me. You know? Me. Yeah, yeah, tell me for the betterment of my own sound yeah, type don't, thing. Just because oh you. Cause you nah, bro. Yeah, yeah. we are gonna do this. We yeah. just get this done. Right and as an artist too, you gotta be coachable too. I mean, oh, your yeah, producer is gonna is here to make you sound the best. You know, it's, it's yeah. gotta put a little and bit of faith of in things, what he's talking about. It be their egos. A lot of artists get that ego thing. Everything. That's, that's mainly why people big. don't tell them like, yeah, yeah, hey, that don't yeah, sound yeah. that good, or hey, maybe you should say it like this. Mainly but because that. they just kind of peep that they're not gonna take it well. Yeah, they're like, exactly. oh, they're gonna get yeah, offended. Definitely. I mean, I've never been in a situation like that yet, but like he's like the main first person I saw recording, so I just. Tried it. I'm so humble, bro. Mm -hmm. I've been through situations that yeah. made me like this. So it'd be like, I don't know. I just, 
I don't take life for granted. So it'd be like, yeah. so everything a blessing to me. You for sure. Me? For That's a great mindset to have, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm the same bad. way. I'm the same way. Even the bad shit, I'm kind of like, I'm oh, glad yeah. this is happening to me right now because yeah, I feel like there's all the bad. You. you have to see it, it dude. It definitely show you, bro. It show you who there for you when you go through that storm. Yeah, ain't yeah. that the fucking truth, bro? Nobody. It exposes real. everybody's intentions, yeah. bro, when you start going through some yeah. shit, you know? Ain't nobody. <laughs> Yeah, you really see at the end of the day that it's just like family's the only people that are really gonna be there for you. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's the truth. Even sometimes not even family though. Because mm-hmm. like I tell people, like, well, I, even with my situation, I tell a person quick, like, bro, family don't just because we share the same blood don't mean that is true as well. We ain't family, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. people that you don't oh. share the same blood with that's more loyal than family, bro. That's you don't have that's so true, bro. You, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I don't was a witness family kill family, like, bro. Wow, over, over petty shit. Damn, and they be like, damn, bro. Family doing that shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck, like, Damn. And it's fucked up to say, but it, that's the it's way the reality, life, dude. That's the way life done. Mm-hmm. That's just the way life, what it came to, bro. Mm-hmm. My right. family was there. Oh, yeah. My family. Yeah, but no, nah, I got my family that's yeah, there, yeah, but yeah. it'd be like certain aspects. You'd be like, shit, mm-hmm. shit. Blood always ain't, isn't yeah. always thicker than water is what you're oh, basically yeah, saying. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, just yeah. Like, shit. Even sometimes you got to watch family, too. They be your biggest haters, bro. Sometimes oh, yeah. they don't want you. They don't want you to make it, you know? That's... Bro, I don't have family members tell me, stop doing this. Like, just stop. Like, flat out, oh, no, bro, don't do this. Like, yeah. I don't, bro, I was in military school. I graduated from there. Them folks was trying to force me to go to the military. Oh, wow. I was like, nah, bro, I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm-hmm. They ain't had no choice but to respect it. Yeah, facts. So, but once they started saying, oh, yeah, okay, he, he's an athlete. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. They got to start seeing a little something before they can get behind you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's how it was with me in podcasting. It took me years yeah, for my family yeah, to be almost like, oh, everything. you know, almost yeah. everything. They're like, oh, you're talking in front of your little microphone again. I'm like, shut yeah. up, motherfucker. You know, yeah, especially, you don't see my vision, bro. No, nah, especially like older people. Like, they don't <laughs> oh really yeah, no, they, especially <laughs> things like this. Like they don't understand. I feel no. like it's hard for them. You're a, you're wasting pure good oxygen trying to explain this kind yeah, of shit to t- them, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's just not their world. You know, they just built up like grinding it out, working nine to five. Mm-hmm. I'm like, no, nah, I'm trying to break that. That's that old mindset, dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's, there's a so bit- many avenues now. To make, like my dad's <laughs> getting real. more in tune with it, but yeah. there's so many avenues. For real, bro. The money is out there. You can make it from your home computer at home. Exactly. It's really you don't even have to clock in my anymore. My dad's tuning in that right now. That's lit. That's fire. That's fire. Pandemic showed it, like. Mm-hmm. That pandemic too. It opened up a lot of at home jobs. Shit, I love that pandemic. I was able to see oh, what yeah. I yeah. do. I yeah, was, yeah. Maybe a big people want to say that, but that, it put me in a position to make more music, honestly. So yeah, yeah. I was for sure. For it, it benefited a lot of people too. It was kind of like a weird blessing in disguise. People, a lot of people made more money than they have ever before in the pandemic. In the so, pandemic, yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. they started side hustles at home because yeah. they're bored, and all of a sudden now they got a, their side hustles now their main hustle. It's amazing how that works. Yeah. Pandemic. Yeah, I've seen a stat like that somewhere. I don't remember what it was, but oh, I'm sure it's fucking. I'm sure they're out there. I'm sure there's a shitload of stats out there to prove that shit. You know, <laughs> so he's the so Juby's the first artist that you recorded like like live session wise. Yeah, in Orlando. Oh wow, Orlando, okay, in Orlando, oh, yeah. September nineteenth or eighteenth. We building up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, be like hot metro. I mean, I would always yeah. watch videos and whatnot. Mm-hmm. like I'm always obviously curious because um, mm-hmm. engineering is a good way to get your foot in the door. Like, oh, hey, I got beats, too. So, like, right, right. I keep seeing that all the time, too. So, I, that's why I started picking up engineering. Mm-hmm. But I'm now just, like, trying to perfect it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. What's the most difficult aspect of engineering? Because, I mean, I, I've interviewed several engineers, and it just seems like it's just so much to it. Honestly, so the hardest thing I've ran into is kind of, like, just learning and understanding what each plugin is, ma- like, meant to do and use. Right, for like, yeah. So I've been looking up a lot of, like, tutorials and, like, like just what is that? Like compression, like what mm-hmm. is compression? How do mm-hmm. you use it? Like what are all? There's so many knobs. So mm-hmm. it's, like, um, it's a lot to understand. It could sure. be overwhelming as fuck too, yeah, man. But a lot of it is ear. Like, like right. Lot, uh, people say ear is the best instrument. Just like understanding, like what sounds good. Like sometimes that's why I like music so much because there's mm-hmm. no there's no right or wrong to anything I'm yeah. doing. Like you can't tell yeah. me like that's wrong if it sounds good. The end product's good. It's good. That is a beautiful thing about music. There really is no like set way to do it. Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? Whatever that's, sounds that's good is what we're rocking with, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like some of my favorite songs are like, they sound real crisp. Like you can tell the mix and the master's really good. And there's other songs that are like, they have like no compression at all. They're like really grimy and gritty. And I fucking love but it. Still ho- yeah, but they're but still it's fires. so hard. It's, you know what I mean? Like, like even uh, like, like X, say. I remember when X was still alive, rest in peace to him. Like some of his earlier tracks where there was no compression on it at all. It was just distorted. raw, yeah. But people loved it. But it was, it was just, like, but it different. was, yeah. It was just raw and authentic yeah. as fuck. You felt the energy in the like in his yeah, music. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I you fucking rock with this. That was that. That was that SoundCloud wave. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That SoundCloud yeah. wave was what, huge, what? bro. And you said you dropped it on 2016. That was like, 
Because I was going to say, that's like that was like the height yeah. of the SoundCloud yeah, era right there. Peaking. And why, like, that was one of my most streamed songs. Yeah, too. bro. And, and the crazy part about it, shout out Turbo. He the one who uh, engineered the song. Oh, fire. That's yeah, sick. Yeah. yeah. That fucking SoundCloud era was nuts, bro. I went to Rolling really? Loud in 2017 and saw all those guys live. It was fucking wild. Uh, I saw I saw ex- the I saw the Migos were there. Is that when um, they like changed stages and everyone like ran? Yes. Okay, yeah, that was my first one on to that. That was lit. Oh, you were there. Yeah, that was lit. Oh, that's fire. So, so were you there when Lil Uzi Vert jumped off that oh, thirty yeah, foot thing? On, Yo, we that shit was like crazy, bro. Thirty feet away from that, really, like, bro. He's not about to jump off. <laughs> Yo, I didn't think he was either, but he's man, like, he, he really he's did. Climbing up there to rap, and then just like, bro, you, what? You about to dive? Every like now and then, I tall, bro. every now and then I go on YouTube and I type in like, "Yo, most lit concerts," and like that clip is always in in every compilation video. I'm like, "Yo, I'm." Was right there. Could have broke his like back. Bro, you could have did it. Oh yeah. The if they, if they didn't part. catch his ass, bro, yeah, he was th- thirty feet up. He would have broke something for sure. Mm-hmm. Ass bone would have been broke. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Now do do you guys do a, well, Juby? I mean, do you guys do you do like a lot of shows? Like like you like what's that your? That was my first. Show. That was your oh, first one. First oh wow. Time. So there's a lot of firsts for you right now. That's yeah, fire, bro. Yeah. Like that's why I say this been my bo- my most productive year for me. Good for you. So dude. it's like it's showing me like oh yeah. Start uh, getting social, start taking them steps. It's like opportunities present itself. Mm-hmm. So it was like, once I seen that, it was just like, all right, bet. Like, because even when, um, like, I was traveling. Like, my mm-hmm. uncle, he was, like, making sure. He's like, bro, you want to do this? We're going to make sure you do it. Like, oh, that's fire. I was traveling. Like, we was going. We we drove to Florida. Mm-hmm. So, that's fire. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, yeah. You got to put in that made, footwork, bro. That song, 4 a.m. in Orlando, is on the tape, too. So That's fire. That was his first song. That was our first song. Mm-hmm. I put it on the tape. Yeah. That's good that you guys have been putting put in the footwork, bro. That's, like, oh, really yeah. important to, like, build a fan base. Like, you really got to yeah, put in the footwork, that. make the drives, go to the cities, you know. We are doing we do the same thing with the show. Yeah, we do yeah, shows all easy. over the state. That's just hard. Yeah. That's probably the hardest part, just building, networking. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, it rewards the people that go out there and do it, man. Fortune favors yeah, the bold. do it. You, you gotta know? just get up. That's what my first two years. That's what my main problem was. Wasn't really like getting up and just doing it. Like mm-hmm. you can't just sit at your bedroom. Right. I mean, you can, but it's one in a million. You know. Mm-hmm. Just being a bedroom person, but yeah. I mean, I'm like you, bro. You seem like you're like kind of introverted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm. Yeah. I'm the same way. I had to kind of learn how to be a networker. You know, because yeah, it goes yeah, very that, against like well, how I am naturally. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It goes so, against everything I do. Like, yeah. If I haven't known you for already like a long time. I'm not really gonna. I'm probably not gonna talk to you. There's a good chance. I'm right. Not you. Same. Like nor nor would I hang out with somebody I just met on Instagram exactly. for the first, and then so, have an yeah, intimate that's conversation. One of the crazy thing. I flew Jay, the producer. I flew to. I flew to his house and like it was just. I never met him before in my life. Yeah. I literally met him on the internet two weeks before, three weeks before I flew <laughs> over there. Right. So it's just like, yeah, it's just like, like screw it. Like I gotta do, start doing something. Yeah, you gotta just make the plunge, dude. Yeah, and then once you do, it just becomes easier over time. Yeah, you just gets easier at it. Just, mm-hmm. And that plays dividends too, bro. Because like you know, like you, when you think about it socially, like when you put yourself in those uncomfortable situations, it's gonna make you super comfortable when you're in front of like the right people, bro. And you need mm-hmm. to make a good first impression. Or you need to have like a really serious conversation with somebody really high up. Like mm-hmm. the fact that you have that experience doing that yeah. already, you're gonna say the right thing at the right time in front of the right person, and before you know it, your whole life could change. Yeah, I'm kind of getting out of it now. Like mm-hmm. now, I'll go now. I'll go up to that person. And I'll say something now. Yeah, you never know who you're gonna meet mm-hmm. and what they can. Not saying what they could do for you like that, but just like you just never know what bond you're gonna build with somebody. That's facts. Speaking a word to them. So yeah, that's yeah. facts. Right. Well, Try to talk to everybody now as much as I can. Yeah, and talking is a skill, bro. Like I, yeah. pra- I practice conversations with myself all the time, just because like to. you have to, man. Because as a host of a show, I have to be able especially, to articulate. Yeah, 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 bro. You know what I mean? Conversation mm-hmm. going. Yeah. Sometimes I have trouble turning off podcast mode, bro. Because I be, <laughs> I just be talking to people like how like I interview them yeah. and shit. Because I get yeah. real de- in depth with the questions and stuff. You know what I mean? You know the head's grind. in the book all the time, bro. I don't think I'm ever clocked out, really. Mm. Do, you feel, do you kind of feel the same way? I'm never clocked out. Yeah, I don't really. I, I don't need know. to. Oh, wait, a lot. On Sundays, I'm clocked out. Are Sundays like the chill day? He does, yeah, it's Buffalo Bills day. Oh, okay. Yes, I was going to say, I saw yes, the yes, Buffalo Bills Bill jersey. Boy, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm a massive Buffalo Bills fan. <laughs> That's lit. That's lit. Is that like a fan? Like, was your dad a big bu- uh, yeah, Buffalo yeah, fan? It's all just family. family I thing. I saw my parents' lit. house every Sunday. It's like 20 of us there. Just Bear down, man. Incredible. Bear down. The child's the Bears, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, dad's from, <laughs> my dad's from Illinois. He's a Bears fan, too, man. You know? Hey, Rough year Chicago you had sports. Your time, boy. It's my time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. How you been? Uh, you been to a bunch of games, Bills games? Oh yeah, I go yeah. like five, six a year. Oh nice. Yeah, I go to Buffalo like three, three times at least. Oh fuck and yeah, then dude. always the Miami game. Last year we got lucky. There was a Miami, Jacksonville, and Tampa game. So I went. Oh nice. Went to, went to all, all three of them. Yeah, oh, wow. I always get a game, and uh, my
That's what's um, up. But yeah, I'm a huge Bills fan. Yeah, yeah. You I'm guys like, ever been to like a fighting event before? Fighting event? No, I want to go to USC so bad. They're fun, bro. They're fun. But you just got to get the right seats, though. Yeah, they're fun. Like no mainstream fighting. Mm-hmm. Events, like Dude, the funnest ones are the amateur ones, bro. Oh, yeah, go yeah, to the amateur yeah. fights. Yeah. They're way more crazy, fun. Because they got something to prove. Like, they, you know, they're going crazy over there. Boxing, I love I USC, though. So yeah? Like, you been in a few amateur fights? Yeah, yeah amateur, yeah. But it was like... I don't even go count them as amateur. It was just like my local gym. Right, right, they right. They set up the fights like they did the weight rankings and all mm-hmm. that junk. So we I still count that shit, bro. You got in oh, there yeah. and bang, bro. That's that's oh, yeah. that's oh, yeah. a that's oh, yeah. a that's a fight. Man, cardio gotta be amazing. I'm oh, just hell. that's all I got. That's but the number one thing. Think that, like, oh, I, I used to box. It's oh, the yeah, hardest so thing ever. Yeah, it is the hardest thing ever, bro. They don't even know cutting weight. Oh, cutting weight is like, oh my god, bro! I don't even get me started. I had to cut ten pounds, and I thought I was oh, dying. Gosh, ten yes. pounds ain't nothing. That's, that's a that's nothing, bro. Yeah, people man, be cutting fifteen, twenty. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Right back, like I right be seeing them, right right seeing up, them right heavyweights up, trying to drop all the, all that weight. Just oh yeah, yeah that's like, crazy. Man, how the hell? Yeah, yeah, fuck that heavyweight shit, bro. Yeah, that fucking what? division is way too. It's like the gap in weights, yeah. like fuck. And it's endless. Oh, yeah. Be as heavy as you want. You be as heavy as you fucking want. I'm a UFC guy, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. UFC so far. Yeah. Boxing's cool. Like, I, I enjoy, I enjoy like, the, the the science of it and everything. But, like, UFC, I think, is, like, more entertaining because oh, yeah. it's just so oh, much more sure. raw. There's people getting See, dropped on UFC. UFC. Yeah. I got a cousin who do it, like. Oh, yeah? Well, he's, tr- he's trying to pursue it. I don't know how far. Mm-hmm. He, I don't know. He, he's a square. Because it's good. Hey, shit is it's uh, dude. That's a tough. That's a tough life, bro. The oh, yeah, fighting sure. life is oh, you gotta tough. Be crazy. You got to be a little you gotta off. Got to be crazy. Yeah, you got to be a little off. For you got to sure. be obsessed with it too, man. Like training is just everything. Like you got to mm. be careful what you put in your body. Like who you yeah, hang around. Yeah, it's a lot, bro. That's even though even thinking too much, oh, yeah. it's crazy. Get you knocked out. Yeah, bro. Overthinking I, why you, oh, thinking why you oh yeah why you fight, bro. Yeah, you got to have a clear head. You know what's crazy? It's like that's a lot of the reason why a lot of dudes lose. I feel like because like the week of the fight, just like all they're thinking about is like, oh fuck, like what if I get knocked out? Like what if this doesn't go my way? You know what I mean? And then before you know it, you're like you're fucking just lost mentally, and now you go in there and it's just. It's nuts. Why you're yeah. Scared, no. yeah, you know, it's fucking. It's like ninety like, percent psychological than it really is physical. You know, it's kind of crazy. You got any favorite? Who's your favorite fighter? UFC fighter? Ooh, right now, yeah, I what, or all time, whatever. All time, uh, probably Silva. Oh yeah. So how do you feel about fucking him losing to Jake Paul? That nah, shit. That's just set up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's just kind of like whatever. Jake Paul's for views and money yeah you know whoever he fights is supposed to get knocked out by him yeah because mayweather could have ended chuck liddell yeah Yeah, chuck liddell is gangster bro hey hey. adesanya right now though that man's oh yeah adesanya's nice wizard yeah uh who just fought i like he just lost just this last time i like him oh are you talking about uh who fought islam what's his fucking name dude yeah off the top of my tongue charles Oliveira. charles i like him charles i like him too bro um i really liked him but that that dude be wrestling those bears. Dagestanis, dude. Yeah, they're just different breeds. Bears. They don't even they don't no, care about life. I don't know what it is about Eastern Europeans, dude. I fought a bunch of them. They're just tough as nails, bro. Yeah, always, those always, dudes are just always. different upbringing. I don't know what it is, bro. They're like made of metal. <laughs> they make them wrestle bears. Yeah, they don't get tired. Oh, I saw that you you got like a nice little home studio at the crib. Like, yeah, I personally think that's like the coolest place you could record would be a home studio because it's like yours. But oh, like, yeah, where's like, where, where, yeah, where, spot. where's like some of the coolest places you've like recorded music? I saw that you uh, you had a couple of posts of you recording in a studio downtown. I forgot the name of it, but um, yeah, yeah Jets, yeah, shout yes. out to them, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Shout out to them. They gave me a um, place to make music because I didn't really have a place yet. So mm-hmm. I was over there for. Pretty much every weekend. Were they kind of like the first people to like kind of bring you in and be like, yeah, you can do your thing here? Um, yeah, so I'd known them from a friend, like one of my best friends growing up in um, high school. Mm-hmm. I known him from him. He went to college with them. Okay. And then like two years later, I seen, I was like, oh, they're producing. So I like hit them up and I went over there and I chilled. Mm-hmm. And I kind of just like explained my situation. And then he said, yeah, you can come over here. That's tight. Um, yeah, he gave me like a discount. But yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what's up. So I was there for a lot. And then... Um, I lived in Sarasota before the um I moved here three three years ago. Oh, okay. Not three years. Okay. And then um I had a home studio there too. It's in it's one of the pictures in there. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the same setup, the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Set up a different way. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my spot. That's a dope little spot, bro. The yeah, pictures nah, seem, it looks like a little cool little area, bro. Yeah, I love it. When the, come over tomorrow, you'll see. Yeah, yeah, for sure, it's, for it's sure. Definitely a vibe in there for sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. Is there anything you guys want to talk about before we before we wrap up shop? Like, where can they find all? Tell me where they can find all of your stuff. Like, go, where, get, go listen to his album. I'm telling go you, go listen to the album it's on all platforms: platforms. Spot, Spotify, Apple Music, Spotify, the whole nine Apple yards. Music, oh, Spotify. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. By any means, with two Y's on any. Mm-hmm. 
That's Instagram. I really don't have Twitter or anything. I try yeah. to stay on one. I kind of I kind of only fuck with Instagram too, man. Yeah, I'm on my I phone enough. Pictures and stuff. Yeah, I try to I try to dump over into the TikTok world, but I was like, mm, I can't oh, I no, can't I deal even, with this. I didn't shit. even attempt that. Like, I read some of the terms and conditions too. I was like, I don't know how I rock with this shit, bro. They be, I feel like it's like a, a mechanism yeah, you know, the kids to just be hitting accept. They don't read. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. Accept, accept. You never read the terms and conditions ever, but you know. <laughs> but some of the, but some of the shit that they be saying in there, they got full access to like pretty much your entire life, you know, which really? is kind of yeah, like yeah. It, it's pretty crazy. They, I've seen stuff like that. How US wanted to ban that because it was like. China. Based. Well, they control the algorithms. So oh. if if you can if they control the algorithms in the United States, they can pump like basically negative shit into like culture. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll, and we're Makes watching sense. stupid videos about nothing. And then yeah. over there, they're like pushing like their doctors, their you know astrological physicists, yeah, yeah, yeah. all their important people and stuff. And it's making the kids want to go. You know what? I want to go to college and get a degree. And yeah, like, well, we're like, oh wait. Let's not do let's anything. do let's do this dance. Yeah. Let's climb these crates. <laughs> yeah, man. It's crazy let's how they control that crates. shit. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> hey, it really it low key really <laughs> no. is like kind of like a weapon of war in a re- weird way. Because like mm. if you know your enemy and you kind of weaken them internally, you can yeah. kind of you can kind of demoralize them a little bit. Always about getting the one, you know, on everybody. It is, bro. The whole world's like that, bro. It's all yeah. about money, power. Like, where's the power shift? You know, like shit. Real boy. Real boy. Real boy. It's been a great episode, guys. I appreciate you, uh, brother. Yeah, Thank I appreciate you. you guys coming by, man. You guys can always come by whenever you want to, bro. Whenever yeah, you got a project, like, slide through. Instagram. Oh, yeah, my Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can follow me on Instagram, one little juvie, man. One L-U-H-J-U-V-I-E, juvie. Yeah. And he doesn't have a profile picture, so yeah. don't, don't get, delete him. He's not spam. Yeah, he's going to get that, He just though. doesn't have a profile get picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that shit you, up, bro. dude. <laughs> yeah, man, appreciate you guys coming, man. Real Boy Radio, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Lock us in. Follow by any means. Follow One Love Juvie on everything. Make sure you tune into that album. 10, 10, 22? 20, 21. Man, make sure you guys get that shit. Cop that shit. Bump that. All that. Share the shit. Y'all have a great day, man. We out. my family. Balling out the gym. Deserve a trophy like a jewelry. Praying out to God for forgiveness for this life of sin. Can't believe that pussy killed my sister. I be missing Ken. Birthday back to back. Stays apart. She would like my